What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back at it with another Fortnite news video and some of the newer data mine files I'm going to cover are absolutely insane and will change the game massively. But hey you epic people, do you want to win some V-Bucks? I am giving away 2800 a week. To be in with a chance of winning some, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and winners will be picked and announced next week via a YouTube direct message. So good luck guys also credit to fortnite intel for this info a great source for all your fortnite needs their twitter can be found linked within the video description all items you will see and hear of in this video are confirmed by the way they are from the same files as those that have been recently released some don't have images but others do so let's get into it and we're going to start with the airstrike yes you guys heard that right an airstrike coming to battle royale now we know of the airstrike in the save the world game mode and i'm guessing this will work the same now as for how old piece some might say this is as i know some people will be saying that there will obviously be indication of the airstrike coming in so you will have enough time to escape. I'd even go on to say that this probably won't even kill you with one hit if you have a shield but I do feel will have more of a devastating effect on buildings you create and so forth. The weapon will be called the airstrike laser. Mark a location to deliver an airstrike with a 4 bomb payload. Having this will allow you to direct this airstrike to any location you want. Obviously they will not allow you to use it from unlimited range. But I'm probably getting up to about 200 yards maybe as that would be great. But we will see people, we will see. This will be of that legendary rarity by the way. But yeah guys, how do you feel about such an addition? Me personally, I think this might come with one of the limited time game modes and maybe return in the future. After initial testing by us has been done and feedback given, I doubt they just drop this straight into the BR mode. I really do. Next up we have the Dirt Burger Helmet, a corporate mascot helmet that protects from a single instance of critical damage. This obviously helps out being one shot by a sniper or a shotgun, a useful tool in my opinion and this is of that rare rarity. Next up we have a backpack which increases the inventory size. The amount of increased space here though is unknown at the moment but I'm guessing we'll at least get an extra few slots for sure. This is of that rare rarity. Next up we have the beehive grenade. Now this sounds epic. Now we actually don't know how this will work but if I had to guess I'd say maybe it's like a seeker grenade. So if you get this into a small closed space where your enemies are hiding they will have no choice but to abandon ship for sure. And this is of that rare rarity. Next up we have something called a big poppy. A self inflating balloon that demands personal space. This I imagine would work in a way of like say if you are falling to your death you could pop this thing and it will save you maybe. Or it could be used to push others back when they are getting a little too close to comfort. We will see. Next up we have the bottle rocket. Here's a grenade. Bang bang. This I believe will either come with its own ammo or maybe you'll have to load it with grenades you find. Using this though will no doubt give you more accuracy and range on those grenades. Rarity here is unspecified. Next up we have C4. Toss an explosive charge that can be detonated with your alternate fire or by shooting the charge. Rarity here is uncommon. We then have this concussion mine. Deals damage and slows nearby enemies when triggered. This I'm certain will be some kind of trap, maybe a wall or ceiling trap. We then have energy crystals, not to be confused with healing crystals. Now because of the subtitle here I believe these may increase movement speed of some sort for a set period of time. Rarity here and these are epic. Next up we have the gas grenade. Here's a stink bomb, better clear out. This one is the much anticipated alternative to the smoke grenade and it's of that rare rarity. Listen to this people, the golden ticket. Take a second ride on the battle bus and redeploy. So this is of that legendary rarity and it basically gives you a revive token. A real game changer for sure. Damn. We then have grapple, has healing properties, get some health back. It's of that legendary rarity. We then have the M80s, hurls one M80 explosive for a small bang, consumes on use. These I feel would just be like small grenades, maybe they drop in bigger quantities. Rarity on these though are unspecified. We then have pop up grenade and pop up grenade 2 times 2 Cover in a bottle, emergency cover to be used while fighting your opponents. These are also unspecified in rarity. We then have the mimic bomb. 
place a decoy chest which is triggered whenever an enemy player comes within range. This is something I called ages back. While playing this game when it first dropped, I said eventually they will be like a decoy or booby trap chests which you can use to entice and blow people up. It seems I was right. We then have the Moab launches a tiny rocket that makes a big boom. Well this I don't know what to think about. I mean we all know what the real life Moab was and it was devastating. This I feel won't quite be as strong. There definitely will be some kind of drawback to using this as there should be. But it will be interesting to see how this one comes into play. And this is of that legendary rarity. We then have the slow grenade. Create a zone of slow motion for all nearby players. This would be great to use on people trying to escape your mitts. And it's a rare item. We then have the supply drop signal. Throw a signal to mark a location for a supply drop. This I think is obviously a decoy. You ain't going to be able to call in your own supply drops I believe but I mean it's a possibility we will see. This is a legendary item given the fact it is a legendary item probably actually probably is a supply drop you can call in for yourself we will see like I said. We then have this telling head teleports the grenade this sounds awesome but where do you get teleported to how will this work it's got me curious for sure and lastly people we have the rare Tesla totem, zapper totem that slows and damages enemies. Sounds interesting for sure. So guys, quite a lot of new things coming. Some really interesting, others I'm not too sure about. I'm quite certain though here many of these items will be introduced with the limited time game modes coming soon also. And if you don't know about those, I did a video covering them. If you missed it, you'll find it linked within the video description. But yeah guys, that is it for another video. Quite a lot to discuss. So get discussing down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, it really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Get it right.